What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to yet another episode of F1 2020 Career Mode. Today we are at Interlagos, the Brazilian Grand Prix weekend. Um, following our performance uh, at the Mexican Grand Prix, we actually did do quite well uh, during qualifying. Excuse me, we actually did, yeah, we did really well. And our strategy is going to be softs and hards. We actually just outpaced Bottas. Um, but... Our ECU actually had a lot of damage, so I was like, you know what, might as well replace it right now, take a grip penalty, and then be ready for Abu Dhabi uh, with an okay part instead of a totally failed part. So let's go ahead and dive right in and see if we can save our front wing. All right, let's get a nice, good launch out of here. I'll take that. A bit of an aggressive uh, move dive in there in the middle, but it worked out. Double shifting already, holy. And Hamilton's up next. Fuel target is plus one. Faster engine modes are available. Give me room, bud. And of course, just park it on the corner, eh, Lewis? Run a little bit wide there. Mm, double shift. There you go, nice up close well, and personal. You'll be on the hearts. We're a plus one lap of extra fuel. Fuel target plus one. 
close the door on me there, and I was going a little bit too slow for that dive in anyway. Thanks, Jeff. Oh, a little bit too far away. Can we get by here? No, that's uh, nope. Not close enough again. But deep. deep there. I gave him room to pass if he wanted to, but Maras didn't, so. Lando is coming in for a stop. Should we going in for 15 or 16? Mm, let's go 16. This bonus is going to go in right now. Plus he's 20 seconds behind us, okay. I wonder if it's going to be less than 20 seconds. Okay, 20 seconds. Go, 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 go. 12 seconds. We should be able to come out just ahead of him. Pit strategy complete. See these tires through to the end now. Yeah, and we have a bit of a 
bigger gap than we would have had if we would have came in right away. Same time as him, so. I think it was a good move overall. Jeez, George Russell. Almost had an end of a race because that guy. Probably working for Lewis Hamilton. Trivanas just have the fastest lap, okay? Let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we can go faster than Valtteri or not. Our first actor was pretty bad. You want a one eleven two? We are going to go one away on nine ten. Ah, uh, eleven two five nine. I'm not sure if we got fastest lap or not. Oh man, that was nuts. What another win! Awesome. Another year of Formula One draws to a well, Valtteri Bottas, yeah, he gets drives the World Championship. Another entry added to that prestigious list of the sport's most incredible drivers. A beautiful... Well, we got first place, though, so, you know, that's awesome right there. What a result. I'm glad we switched all over our parts. Qualified first, started 10th, finished first. Yeah, 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 Valtteri Bottas. Whatever. Now, let's discuss, Ant. Who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? I have to give it to Iceman. They oh, demonstrated man. a very delicate touch. And so close. close. 217, 259, 263. Well maturity and patience in difficult situations. The Constructors' Championship may be a foregone conclusion at the moment, but regardless, let's look at the standings. It's another clear win for Mercedes as they manage to secure the Constructors' title. An incredible performance for the whole team. Meanwhile, yeah. Renault move up the table with another strong performance this weekend. We're going to well, be second. An end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next And we're going to be third. Uh, advance. Right? No, I'm about the wrong button. There you go. I was like, what is going on? I'm pressing this wrong, totally wrong button here. Um, but no, that was a great, great turnout, great circuit. Let's have your thoughts. Let's see. How's your grid penalty going to affect your strategy going into the race? Mm, we don't have a grid penalty. 
We already finished that. You gained a lot of positions during the race, didn't you? Yes, sticking to the track. You're beating all expectations. Would you say we all underestimated you? Uh, the team is more sum of parts. When we work together, magic happens. Yes. Do you have any comments about this team? Racing point? Uh, they don't. Concern myself. They kind of copy Mercedes. Great. Well, that's everything. Almost like a copy and paste kind of idea. So, no comment. I'm not worrying about them. All right. I'm assuming we want a rivalry as well. But oh, what a race. Another win in the bag. Uh, let's have a look at our messages here quickly. Uh, estimate. So we're third in line. Currently, we're looking at... Yeah, we're third. McLaren second. Um, that is two wins in a row. The most we ever had was two wins in a row as well. Uh, so next up is Abu Dhabi. Yeah, so we won that rivalry. Uh, our contract, we have 14 days left. So we'll see if McLaren wants to renew us or not. But I think that's going to be the end of this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did like it, hit the like button below. Definitely helps me out. Um, hit the subscribe button so we'll be part of the team. Comment below. Uh, if you do have any any advice for me, I'm always can be better and better and better and faster. Uh, we are hoping to add a, a few more different episodes and different game modes and different games in general. So stay tuned for that. But until then, you guys take it easy. Peace out.